できたへようこそチョークを作りに行きましょう。I didn't really know what to expect, but、um, <laughs> that might become a standard operating procedure because that, depending on how it turns out, I really like it now.、Uh, right now, it is still just as flat as it could possibly be. So <clears throat> we're going to leave it for a little while, let it rest, and see what it does. And in the meantime, it would be a good time to start on the fretboard. Now, this is a big piece of wood, and I need to figure out exactly what I want in it. Although, this is kind of interesting, I, I'm not sure I really want it. This is cool too, but a little confusing. I like all this、um, contrast that comes in, but I think I like this better. So, I'm kind of thinking. Kind of like to get a lot of that in there, but this is super cool too. I don't want to lose that. I think that's what we're doing right there. So, I like that. Now, if you've been watching、uh, the Darkness and Light series, Color for my son, then you will know that my、uh, my slotting jig is having some issues.、Uh, they're not real hard to work around, but it's less than ideal.、And、sometime very soon, I need to build a new one. The thing with the jig is、um, the slot that gets cut could be a little offset from the slot that it's indexing, but it will be consistently on all of them, if that makes sense. But because this jig has bit me a time or two, I'm always concerned about screwing up. But because of its issues, I have to clamp it in place against this wall as tight that way against my index. And then I have to make sure I keep the blade on this side of the miter so that it stays level and everything. I mean, everything should be good, it's just a little nerve wracking. Alright, this should be the end of the fretboard. Which needs to go all the way through, I just don't want to do it right this time. Kind of check the slots as we went, and everything is deep enough that、uh, I'm going to worry about it for a while. Not that that's something we have to deal with right now anyway, but,、um, you know, sooner or later. Before it ra gets radiused, we need to make sure that they're deep enough that、mm, the majority of it's still going to be there after radius. Uh, next thing we need to do is get our、uh, truss rod access. Port done, and then we can truly, truly、uh, find exact placement on the neck. It rarely happens, but once in a blue moon, and doing this, you know, our holes get real close to the to the fret slot, and sometimes it can chip out a little bit of 
So, I had actually planned on um, not cutting the 23 and 24 very deep. Uh, I kind of forgot that. <laughs> so, um, I'm thinking, well, I'm hoping, cramming a little piece of veneer into that slot will give it just enough uh, strength that we won't have a problem. Now, Cerakote is a little bit of a pain in the ass to draw on. Make this just a little more than a half inch. I have, uh, I think, the world's cheapest Brad Point set. Some of them aren't straight. Uh, some of them are just barely not straight. So they wind up cutting a slightly bigger hole than they're supposed to. I don't think we're going to have that problem. Well, I don't think that would be a big problem here, as long as it's not crazy. I'm looking at this one, it doesn't look like it's way off, but I'm going to do the center first. So, I mean, if there is some offness, it'll be in the middle. So we'll see what happens. see what down there. I think that's all right. That wasn't very damn smooth. Okay, we'll do it all with files. say fuck that up royally <sighs> well after we jack that up um, here is a plus uh, <laughs> the veneers didn't uh, keep us from tearing that up however it will make a good dam for some filler. I might not have gotten enough dust. Or got too much glue. It was good progress. I absolutely love that neck guard. It's going to be awesome. It, it, I don't always get chip out there, but once in a while it happens and it kind of sucks. And Both of these Zerico boards it, it happened with. Um, but, as it turned out, the veneer was a great uh, dam to keep it out of the slot, keep the glue out of the slot. Well, the filler out of the slot. So we took some dust and mixed it with glue and filled it in. And I've just got that cleaned up. And it looks good enough, I think. Okay. A um, friend of mine that uh, this build is kind of dedicated to uh, passed away in December. Um, who was the guy I made the bass for my very first guitar ever. Uh, he specifically wanted a um, a spoke nut truss rod on that bass because um, they did a lot of traveling for gigs and you know um, 
atmospheric differences and everything. You wanted a quick, easy way to be able to adjust it without having to have a stupid Allen wrench. Just stick anything in there. No truss rod cover that you got to deal with. Just quick and easy. So, um, ever since then, I've kind of been sold on them. Um, and as it turns out, when you're doing a Gibson scale, I can place the, the adjustment nut right between the 23rd and 24th fret. And it's, I guess, kind of turned into my thing. Soften things up a little with some 320. Uh, two things we need to do before we can mount this fretboard. Um, get this done, of course. Um, and then I guess we don't have to, but I would like to uh, get the inlay done on the 12th before we mount it. It would just be easier to mount, uh, to do before it's mounted. So I guess those are the two things we're going to work on today. That's good. Uh, next thing we need to um, hollow out the back just a little bit to accommodate the drum of that truss rod. And then it'll essentially be ready to mount. Basically, we need to make this area just a little hollowed out. Just a little. And we can do some rounding on the back, too. I ran me a little test piece just so I can gauge the depth, and that's not as deep as we ultimately want to be at. So I think we're good, at least for a starting point, because I'm kind of toying with the idea of doing about half depth for the whole thing, and then a little deeper right down the middle. Because it's it, ideally, it, it you know should be a nice scoop, but that's a lot of work. So. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to buy a new router. sound at all. Man, I didn't very much barely a nanometer deeper. Maybe just a little more. Yeah, that doesn't sound good at all. I love that little router. Alright, with the board clamped in place as tight as it's going to end up being Oh yeah, we're good. Now, I guess we need to get that inlay. And some time ago I also <laughs> counted frets and marked them. But uh, yeah, it's always a good idea to recount and just be sure. I would like to know if anybody has not made that mistake before.
I don't particularly enjoy this part. Inlay's awesome, it's just not my thing. I wish it was. I'm gonna keep working the edges until we can get it to fit and then we'll deepen. That took uh, some some work. Uh, and I'd considered going slightly deeper, but I don't wanna. The bone offcuts. Make a really good glue scooper. Okay, I did a couple things. Um, I clamped the fretboard in place. Uh, I used calipers to check both sides to make sure it is absolutely centered at both ends. Um, I then, rather than just draw another line, I thought, you know, I'll just put tape down. It's a, it's a more um, precise line. It's the edge, it's not, you know, the width of whatever. And then I could um, make some reference points on the tape at the end to make sure that I know exactly how to get it right back where it was. So, next step will be uh, cut the excess off the sides. Go ahead and mount this fretboard, get it glued up, and then uh, tomorrow we can flush trim it and do our binding channel. And uh, we're quickly getting to a point where I'm going to have to uh, start cutting pieces off of that the flame maple. Um, we need, we're going to need a head plate. As soon as the fretboard's done, we're going to need, you know, a nut and a head plate. Um, and I had planned on taking a couple strips off of that and using that for binding so that it matches everything else. But anyway, that's the plan for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and trim the fretboard and see if we can't get the damn thing mounted. And uh, tomorrow we can get it trimmed and maybe even get binding on it. So. Alright, before we do this, last chance to check the flatness of the neck. And it has had a few days to sit around in this shape, so. Flat as it can be. Tapered, cork backed, clamping coal. Sometimes I kind of wish it was a little shorter. Six ought to be enough to start with.
up a little with some 80 grit. Don't you quit on me, little buddy. You've been with me since the beginning. You're my favorite router. Hang in there. You can do it. You don't have to go now. Please. Why? Why? <laughs> Thanks for joining me. If you like what we're doing, if you're digging it, like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Like, subscribe.